So this is my Scalenut AI review. I have got a playlist on my channel with hints and tips on how to use it, and I've been using Scalenut for quite a while. So I just wanted to tell you what I think about it and why I think it's got quite a few features that other AI writers don't have and why you should definitely consider it. Definitely give it a try. The link is in description if you want to give it a try. And uh, you get 35,000 words, 5,000 words a day. So here we go. Scale nuts, my thoughts after using it for a while. Let's have a look. So I will keep this brief, but have a look at the playlist, especially the video that I say, watch this one first, because it really just guides you through some of the features so that you get an idea. But the reason that I think Scalenut is fantastic, it's got three power up your SEO tools at the top, which are really, really useful. They are similar. Um, plan content topic clusters. Now, what that does, you put in some keywords and it will find all of the different topic clusters related to those keywords so that maybe you want to not high highly score to get your article right up there for the main keywords, maybe find a little spin-off that isn't as popular so you have more chance of getting your article read. Um, create Content Brief, another fantastic tool, which once you put your keywords in, it will analyze the top 10 websites that are appearing in Google with articles related to those keywords. It will tell you how many words you need in your article, what level of reading it should be, how many headlines you should include in your article. Uh, and then you can go on to create your brief. Um, and the other feature is, and this actually does it all in one, uh, cruise mode, where you can just start off with your keywords. It will guide you through the entire process. Okay, so you will start off putting keywords in. It will give you a content brief. You will pick the actual keywords you want to use, and then you will create your article. You will create a brief, an outline, a draft of your article, and then you go in and improve your article and increase the score. Sounds complicated, watch my video, but it takes you through the entire process of writing an article. Yes, you do need to write a few words about what your article is going to be about and put 20% of the effort in to get a lot more out. Um, so, yes, other AI writers have similar, but I've not seen anything that performs as well. Let's just have a look at a couple of the docs I have um, created. Here we go. Okay, so this article was created using cruise mode. So I started off just with energy price cap. And then I started writing an article. Here it is. And I picked the headlines. One of the clever things I did, and you'll see in another video, I just had five tips to reduce energy consumption. I simply clicked the instruct button, and it put those five in there without me having to put any input in myself. Then I take the key terms, and I try and make sure, as you can see, I've done this in this article, so that it recommends that I should have the phrase energy price appearing uh, between 2 and 27 times, and it appears 13 times in the article. And I took me time to make most of them green. Okay, it's really easy. If you just want to include one, so for example, it says I should have typical household more. I just generate a term for typical household, and it will put it in the article. All right, it's put it at the end there. All right, but, but when I'm actually doing it, I'll put it in the right place in the article. It's just really good. Uh, and you can see that I've been able to take my score to the score of B. And if I look at the competition for this, if I actually post this now on my blog, the chances are it would appear because if you have a look, the rest of the top 10 articles are all getting a B score as well. So my article has got that B score. If I spent ages, I could get it away and I'd be confident it would appear on the front page of Google. Um, let's just go back again very briefly. These are the energy price cap, the clusters that is created. So there you go. I said energy price cap, but it has found all these different clusters that I can try and write an article about that are quite popular in the search volume. Not as popular as the main search volume, but like say the energy price cap, energy, second most popular cluster. So I could write an article just related to energy price cap, energy, and probably have more chance of it appearing or write different articles for each topic cluster, making subtle changes so that each one appears in the top 10 of Google. And you have probably seen AI powered templates on most of the AI writers. And these are the same kind of things you see across the board, but you can see that um, Scalenut has them all in there. So if you wanna write product descriptions, if you want to write a paragraph, if you want to write social media posts or video descriptions, just about everything is included. So it's definitely got just as much as the other AI writers. So you will always find a template to write something about what you want to write about. So those three main features, create blog, create content brief, and plan content with topic clusters, 
are the main reason why, at the moment, Scalenot is my go-to AI writer. It's got all of the facilities of the other tools like um, Word Hero or Jasper, which I'm going to be doing a review of next week. But the fact that it's got those three and it's so easy to start off with keywords to create an article to find different clusters for that article and then using the power of AI, improve the score of the article so it's got a really good chance of appearing high in the search engines. And that's why this is a positive review and I definitely recommend that you try Scalenut. Um, I have got the link in the description. My uh, bonus link gives you 35,000 words. It's 5,000 words a day and all of the features are unlocked so that you can just go to it and try everything out. And 5,000 words a day is enough to probably do one full cruise mode article or do seven AI writing templates a day. So give it a try um, and tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about Scale and what you think and how you think it compares to the other AI writers. And I will see you next time.